And I went ahead and used an impact driver to loosen all these fill-ups all the way around here. That'll speed things up, but impact driver on these older motors um, is pretty essential. This cover here is for adjusting your, um, well, you can inspect your where your uh, timing mark is on your flywheel, so you can find top dead center there, and you line that up, which is this groove here when you're in the middle. Got your 12 millimeter. Uh, oh, that's a 10. 12 millimeter bolt here. On the flywheel. Now, I like to make sure that washer is removed when we're pulling this apart because next you want to make sure that this is this is removing your flywheel and stage. So I like to spray a little bit of WD-40 down in there just to um, allow this puller to uh, completely seat. And I'll show you here, this is the, what the flywheel puller looks like. This is for a different bike on this side, but this larger side here is what we'll use. So you run this in, it's reverse thread, so you spin it counterclockwise for removal. And you want to tighten it up completely. If it's not tightened up completely, pretty good chance you'll pull those threads right out of there. You take a socket on the end there. And then this is regular thread, so spin that down. Most of the time these will pull right off of there. I think, ah, there we go. I assumed I had some rust, but we could have just been uh, just lifting up on it slowly. So now you're done with that puller. And there is your flywheel. There's your flywheel there. There's your magnets around the outside. Some people call them weights, but that's your flywheel assembly there, rotor, and then we'll take our impact driver to remove this stator, and this is just a gasket here. To remove this stator, you'll actually have to break this gasket, and this spot right here, that's where your stator wires come through there. Grab our impact driver again. Two Phillips down there in the bottom of here. All it takes is two Phillips to remove this stator. There are wires here in this wire holder. And it looks like actually we've got a sensor down here that we'll pull out too at the same time. I'm just trying to figure out how this comes off here. You can take this impact driver, take this holder loose. And maybe that sensor is all one piece. Maybe there's not a wire connector there. Just kind of had to wiggle it out of there. There's your sensor there. I'm not totally sure. I'd have to 
just can't see if that's a Phillips holding that sensor on or what that is, but now I just take and pull that up. There's your stator assembly and your points down there. And we've got that flywheel.